Gabriel on the return. Just to the 20. Fourth and inches. And you go for it. Hey, that I got right. North Turner sends out the big guy. Zach Crockett comes in at fullback. Warren Sapp is in as an extra blocking back. Something they did with him in Tampa. First big play of the game. And Warren Sapp is one of those guys, when he comes in as a defensive lineman, he plays tight end. He's on the end of the line. Wheatley. Oh, what a oh. shot by Al Wilson. Oh. Holy cow. And he stopped him. He stopped him oh. in midair. Are you serious? This is one of those deals where they always tell you, don't leave your feet. Do not ever leave your feet because when you do, you got a guy by the name of Al Wilson that's just about killed him. Al Wilson's going to meet him in a hole. 56 on 47. Watch. Oh, that's leverage. Boy, when you can get that kind of leverage, and Tyrone Wheatley is no small guy. They don't, if they didn't make it before, they didn't make it on this one either. What a rip. Oh, I don't, you know what? I don't think he made it past the 40 yard line and they gave him the spot past the 40. Now, if he didn't make it the time before, it's, it's shorter than the, was the, the one before this. What a great hit. Going the other way. Denver takes over on downs. It ain't cold out here. Feel good. Feel good out here. They don't look ready to play. They look like it's too cold. They some California boys. That's what I'm talking about. You're right. Where do you want to play it? Plummer. Deep. Bud Smith. Bud Smith will go all the way for the touchdown. I guess the answer is, yeah, you do throw it for 85 yards. And what a great throw by Jake Plummer. And you saw Rod Smith. Now, Rod may have been in this game for a number of years in his 10th year. He still ran away from Ray Buchanan. How's that for making your first catch of the night? 85 yeah. yards at the score. I'll tell you what was really impressive about that whole thing is that Rod Smith took off and he went for the goal line. But that ball had so much air under it, and it was thrown so far that he was the only one that could get to it. That was a great pass. Yes, it was. You heard Susie talk just a little while ago about how Jake is able to throw in all kinds of ways with great strength and great accuracy. The point after. And what a turnaround. Collins, double pump, touchdown. touchdown right down the middle to Joey Porter. Are you kidding? Now what me, a comeback. Let me tell you something. There was double coverage on that play. Lynch was also over to try to help Champ Bailey, and this ball was thrown. The only one who could get this ball was Porter. This ball was thrown over his outside shoulder. He made a turn to get to this. Now, you say, Joe, before that they took Jerry Porter out of this game, except on this play. Watch the movie makes back to the outside. That is a tough catch. Oh. He's catching this over his shoulder. Watch. Look at he this. He goes inside, back to the outside. Look at this catch he makes. Champ Bailey just loses it. He knows he has inside help, and he just loses it. Jerry Porter with only his second touchdown catch of the year. I said Joey Porter, which would really shock the Steelers linebacker, but it was only Jerry Porter's second touchdown catch of the year. Two years ago, when Richie Gannon had his MVP season, he had nine touchdown gra grabs. And you're right, Champ Bailey just got lost on that one. Well, so much for taking the heart out of him. <laughs> you know, yeah. Smith's got to think about this again. You know, you're not taking the heart out of this team. I agree with you. This is a different football team than a year ago. The, the, and the, you know, in the second half, the Raiders now have they have a chance to do something. They wanted to beat San Diego and Denver. They know their season's going to end at the end of the year, but they wanted to be able to put some hurting on them. Like San Diego got away. They feel like Denver can be a possibility now. Again, field position is going to be so critical in this half. Janikowski, a line drive kick that will go out of the end zone. 
Rock Alexander can't get to it, and they'll start from the 20. Collins. Quick pass gets it to Gabriel, and Doug Gabriel is inside the 15-yard line. The Porter's hands allowing him to make the play. Collins, line drive, throw, Porter. Touchdown. And just like that, the Raiders have the lead. Champ Bailey again. You know what? You know, a, a lot of people stay away from Champ Bailey. He had three interceptions going into this game. And that tied the whole team. But take a look at this throw. That po that ball was perfect. Here goes Porter to the inside. Look at his body. His body shields it away from Champ Bailey, where Champ doesn't have a chance. The only thing he could have done was knock it down. And you saw him come off the line of scrimmage and just give a slight move to the outside to keep Champ outside. Boy, he used that 6'2", 220-pound frame to shield the defender, and the extra point is no good. How blocked. big is that? It Monsanto, was Monsanto Pope manages to get his big mid on it. Number 75 manages to reach up and swat it away. You know, for, for a while there, the, the Tyrell Whitley was out. He was hurt, but he made a great block. Take a look at this. Now, is this a catch? Is there control? No work on something or at least as much or they're just as fast Ray's done a good job against the run tonight Plummer over the middle to the enormous tight end Dwayne Carswell the ball comes out late Carswell 290 I mean defensive backs do not want to see Dwayne Carswell they, coming they worked him at tackle during the uh, tr during training camp this year and he's a big reason why they've been able to run the football so successfully because he is just another offensive line they're going to let the clock run down and end the third quarter it will be a second and seven check it now they have moved the sticks it will be third and a long one as they try to keep this drive alive that's the end of the third quarter. The Raiders continue to lead 13-10. Blitz coming. They do a good job of picking it up, and he throws downfield. The catch down to the three. Ashley Lalee, 56 yards. Well, I said earlier that you're going to have to get Ashley Lee back into this football game or get him in the football game. There's also pass interference on this play. And Ashley Lee pass ended up landing on the ball. Defense for the 25. Then, first of all, this was pass interference. Now, Ashley Lee coming back up. Here comes the pass interference. That's Walker. And watch Ashley Lee. I mean, he's not put to the ground because he's hit there. Now he catches the ball. So Walker doesn't really touch him. So up he gets, and he gets the ball down to about the three-yard line. But Boy, Denard Walker, though, Paulie, here's a guy who didn't quit. He didn't just stay on the ground. He got up and made the tackle. Qu quarterbacks who, who are Pro Bowl caliber quarterbacks in his conference, he's definitely one of those guys. Lalee now four catches, 80 yards. Ruben Drones. Bouncing off tacklers. Touchdown. Elam will try to make it four points. And does. Do what you need to do to move the chains. I think you take the shots you have to. I mean, that's you don't change your personality. And the Raiders have been guys this the, tonight that want to go down the field. Collins has just blocked and intercepted. Blocked at the line and picked off Ellis Johnson. Touchdown, the 288-pound veteran. You know what? He may be 288, but that guy's got some speed. Well, Ellis you see him run. take off? You get these big guys, get the ball in their hand, they become track stars. They think they are. They think they're wide receivers or running backs. Johnson, this ball is going to be tipped right here at the line of scrimmage. Now watch this when he catches the ball. Look at the speed to the outside. Monsanto Pope, the same guy that blocked the extra point, got this one up in the air as well. 
it looked like Ellis was being chased by a wide receiver and they weren't going to catch him. Elam for the point after a 32 yard interception return by the 10 year veteran who they picked up in a trade from Atlanta. And what a turnaround in this game 24 13. The size of those receivers you mentioned, Paul. They know that they can pick up extra yardage. All they got to do is make the move. And they're as athletic as anybody in the league. Redmond goes in motion. Collins to the back of the end zone. Curry. Touchdown. What an unbelievable play. We <laughs> talked about the athletic ability. This is, this is as good a catch as you'll ever see. This reminds me of a Marvin Harrison catch. Remember the one-hander we had? Yes, sir. This is just like it. Watch this play. Reach up. One hand. Catch it. Look oh. at that. Look at that. Now gain possession and control and come down and hold on. And now they're going to go for two. But I'll tell you something about Ronald Curry. When he was in high school in the Virginia Beach area of Virginia, he was the national player of the year as a quarterback. Chance to go. Tripped up finally. Lynch pins him inside the 10. The, the Denver Broncos are just not going to allow Kerry Collins to throw the ball in the middle of the football field. Monsanto Fourth and Pope. goal from the five. Touchdown. Great job by that offensive line. You talked about it, Paul. That was the key on that quarter. Champ Bailey is letting him go into the inside. Look at him. He's just sitting there waiting, 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 and hit him right in the gut. He could have hit him in any number just of holes. to take the lead from 42. You can't use anybody to get in the air. It blocked it. I think it was Warren Sapp. Uh, it wasn't Warren. It was Langston, Langston Walker. Walker. A guy who lost his right tackle job to Robert Gallery comes up with a huge block. Big push up the middle. I'll tell you what. Just uh, exactly what you were talking about, Joe. Look at the push and then get up in the air. Their chance. At least San Diego is sitting there waiting on him. What a ball game. The final score, 25-24 Raiders. Stay tuned for SportsCenter. For Joe Theismann, Paul McGuire, Susie Culver, and our entire ESPN crew, this is Mike Patrick. Good night from Invesco Field at Mile High in Denver.